Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, where we are going to be continuing off here and finishing off Episode 1 here, hopefully today. And yeah, now, as I recall last time, we were walking over this way. I think I wanted to go talk to the gardeners over here before I ended the video. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. Anything else? Well, let's just kind of go to the door. I think that's what we want to do. Just go through the gate. Ugh. There's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon talkers. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, well that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches. <laughs> Come on, you. Up, my darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl, Stella. Oh, look who it is, Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra... Oh, sweetie, no. What? I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. I uh, know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Think so everything's stolen. Do you two know the way out? Of what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, 
She's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh, little B and E. Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can go through the... We sneak in, because I, I got the bones, remember? Through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute! Oh no! How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Well, easy puppies. See? You like bones? Keep on going. Move, Jesse, move. No, oh, not again. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Um, Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Mm-hmm. Ugh! Bad idea no at the time, No matter what you happens, mean. no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! Just look at today! We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late! I can't even get my friends to spend time with me! Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, yeah, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right, it's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. <gasps> oh, hi! Hello! <laughs> Yeah, about time he noticed us. Uh, you! You should not be here! This... this is, um... Uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no! You can have your dumb sword back! Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. 
Okay. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Not a fan of her, but she's also... Like, it seems... I ain't gonna lie. That seems like a pretty stupid character. <laughs> I don't know. That chunk of the story seemed a little off. That's yeah. why I wasn't really talking Feels much. so good to have you back. Just seemed a little weird. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. But again, we also got to remember this is the first episode, so hopefully they can work on her character more. Well, you're welcome, but you definitely owe me for that one. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Warning, heck mouth. <laughs> What is that? It's glowing. Uh, the heck mouth is opening. Run. Sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're supercharged. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. Okay. Can I punch him with the glove? Is this glove just useless? Oh no, you don't. Punch it. Would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. Um I don't think covering up is gonna help it. That's not gonna help. I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. I really Should like. Be we just covered that thing back up. I don't know here, why it's. I think. Wait, have you never been here hold. before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him. I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Play it cool. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Bunch of Witherstorm posters around, and I'm noticing that. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here.
That's a big sign. There was a full set of diamond armor back there. Oh, wow. The Upper Lowlands? Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? It's just ben, like I told Enderman's you. Head. Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Push for service. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Were you just <gasps> hiding behind the bookshelf until somebody pushed the button? I mean... Sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. Why does this feel so cringe? <laughs> The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you yeah. may call me Jack. So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, yeah. uh, Jesse. Oh, this is cringe. <laughs> cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple, Woodland Mansion. Aye, whoa! Oh, it looks like my package for yeah, uh, that's what we're Jurassic here Park. About. The game just showed up. <clears throat> oh, uh, wow! Huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Oh, you've totally seen uh, looks one. Looks real before. crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah. Uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy O. I. That is. Uh, um, found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with like a weird symbol. <sighs> You should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? Kind that of. Pit. It's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. The Legend structure says block. it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds. Create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. Okay. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. The Sea Temple? Hmm. Oh, it's no, a villager. No, no problem. Guys? This is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, okay. this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? Petra, I was just about to tell too these cool. two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Come on. Proud I'd never go back there again. Get back in the adventure, Jack. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. 
The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Such a big place. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... Lost the map. Kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah, we do? Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You... Are, the Velvet right? Tornado? Yes. What? Then <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, a little too I'm much. Cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Petra, I'm gonna say this as your best friend and someone who cares about you very deeply. Please never play it cool again. Never? Never, ever. Ouch. Okay, fine. A little too much with the hands. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admins. Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing, villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nurm. Welcome aboard. <laughs> he says, "Woohoo!" I think yeah, we understood I that. that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple. Don't you think you're looking a little? Squishy for that? Seriously? I oh mean, yeah, we could have picked some armor. The vest of five fists, gifted to me by the singing clerics of okay, Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. Stop in at the Order of the Stones Temple. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next Radar. to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue Radar. hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse Radar. it. Radar. Ah, sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. 
And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. <coughs> gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Uh, in danger. Right what part corner, about that did you miss? really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. I <laughs> um, I might have made the wrong I... decision there, because it says my story Ugh. has changed. <laughs> You said. So I feel like that was a major Can't path that's decision. Your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, Probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love. I think I just reminded him that... I think I just reminded him that his friends are gone, damn it. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Pull the lever. Armor of sequence. Oh, it's all the armors. Yeah, I've got one of those too. Which one of these do we want? I think I want Tim's armor, and I kind of already see it. Where's my armor from last time? Oh, here it is, but they took... They took the spikes off my shoulder pads. Even though, like, most of the playthrough, the shoulder pads are glitched out and, like, flipped upside down. Oh, what do I want to do here? Because, you know what? I'm honestly kind of already set on Tim's. So let's just go with Tim's armor. That's the one I wanted to pick, all right? My diamond sword. Oh, wow. Is that... Yes, it is. It's Tim. Hey, everybody. Tim is here. Woo! Uh, excuse me. Tim? Long story. Tell you later. Fine. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Aww. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Doom Sea? Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. <laughs> Nurm's probably the only one here that's with me. Like, yeah, no, that's a stupid name. <laughs> We're here. So I leapt off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. 
I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. Um, some of this stuff seems a little, uh, fishy. Oh, yeah. Pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Oh. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Really? Hey, mm. what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? The admin. Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Yeah, I've seen weirder than that. True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. Well, let's just agree to disagree. I'll give you one thing, though. Admin or not, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. So we're gonna be scarred for life? Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Okay. We got some scuba gear. I want to say that looks somewhat like the ones from Alex's Caves, Temples. but I don't want to because I could that be wrong. Because I haven't really played with Alex's Caves that much. I just started. Right. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I can legit move around. I can swim. Any guardians or anything? Oh, it's weird also seeing how they have the puffer fish in the water because it's just like dropped puffer fish. It's like them in their item form. I guess this was technically made Whoa. before some of the fish got 3D models and that's only like the salmon, I believe, right? There she is. Incredible. I know I play with a lot of mods. A couple of them add in actual fish models for all the fish. Like Alex's creatures, and then I got, was it, was it walking fish or flying fish? It's one of those. There's a guardian. It spotted us. Dodge, Jesse. Jesse, behind you. Got it. There's more of them, isn't there? We gotta move! Just an entire pack of them. There! That's where the gauntlet goes! Put the gauntlet in! <sighs> okay, took out all those fish. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, if we're sure that we have all our limbs, how about we find that structure block? Oh, they're moving! Hmm. <laughs> I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh man, those Pretty, things are uh, creepy. Right, Petra? If you oh, look they closely, follow you. Carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this. I, uh, I'm gonna need a sec just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. PTSD. Nothing. Must have hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, um, frozen in place. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. You're right. Thanks, Jesse. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I think we've helped Jack I out. found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Okay. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Oh, it's gonna make me yeah. do this every time. <laughs> Is that red obsidian I just saw? It is. And two guardians. Or elder guardians. <laughs> Guys? Whoa! Whoa, that was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though. To see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. Get back, get back, get back. Jack? Is that, uh, dark prismarine? Or something like it. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Okay. Um... Do I got any other options? What Cages. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Okay, now I gotta look at him. Alright, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible! <sighs> well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. 
Oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys! Sorry, Nurm, but I think Jack's right. There's got to be an explanation for this. See? Oh. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's going to need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Petra, I know you can do this. No, Jack Petra, and I will grab this. the sponges. Cool. I'll go get the sponge. I'm on it. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack! Oh, hey, 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 mash it. Oh, throw. It's working. It's working. Oh, no. No, no. Sammy. Jack? Jack? Jesse? We've got a Jack problem. Quick, get another one. Surprised his friend's inventory is still there. Oh. I'm. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Silence is always an option. I didn't deserve our awesome, cool guy handshake before. Oh. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. Can I pick up some of these prismarine shards and all that? Glowing obsidian. So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I heard someone! Kalu Kale! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. You know, if you don't mind. Oh, it's so nice to hear another voice after How all this you? time. How'd you get up there, though? Oh, I, I got trapped a long time ago. It's very smelly in here now, and it, I'll say nothing more on the subject. I'll leave you to it. I've got a good feeling about you and that door. <laughs> Let's take up Bye. the guardian blue. Petra's got the other half. Um, let's talk to Petra. How you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just... If I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. Okay, I guess we gotta talk to Jack now. Is that a crafting table? A prismarine crafting table Jack, I just you saw? Okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. No, it's just weird chiseled prismarine. I, for some reason, it looked like a crafting table to me. Hmm. Looks like okay. Some I think sort I gotta pattern. match it on the other side. So I need a lantern, two lanterns. 
Alright, it's... One, two... One, two, three. So two lan er, two lanterns and three dark prismary. I believe. Nerm. Hey, Nerm. Uh. Oh. Oh yeah, you must be worried about Jack, right? He'll be okay. Oh. He's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to this. Anything in here? Hmm. Dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. That probably gave me three of them, right? Yes. So well, that means we only have to craft two was lanterns. Nice enough to provide a crafting table. I don't know how to craft a lantern, though. Show recipe. Sea lantern. Okay. Boom. There's one. Okay, and then we got to go get prismarine shards. Put those in the corner. It's going to make me do this again. Sea lantern. Nice. Boom. Oh, it's, yeah, totally going to make me craft another one. I don't know why you couldn't just do both of them at once. That's what the other game, the first game used to do that. You Like, it'd have you craft it once and be, oh, nice, and then it's like, mash A to mass craft them. I guess this is just two, so... It pro this game probably also has that. It's just I'm complaining because I'm used to the controls towards the very end of the last game. Puzzling door. Okay. Dark prismarine there. Dark prismarine there. Okay. We want a sea lantern there. Sea lantern yeah. there. And then dark prismarine up yeah. here. Oh, we got the door! It's an adventurer. Oh, oh, thank the tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. Is this Jack's friend? Boss! Jack! Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. Anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, Excellent. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see oh, the we're so sunshine close. again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. We're already this far, Voss. Too far to turn back now. Yep. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Yeah, let's not get Voss killed, Ugh, please. More of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. I feel like these things are going to come alive and fight us. It's going to make me do it again. Oh, why did I know it? Why did I know that they were going to come alive? Adventuring. No kidding. What are they? They're kind of zombie shaped. They sort of sound like zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. I don't know. The big ones are definitely alive now, too. Like, you know it. We know it. 
Oh, wow. There's one wow. on the cover that's Us. moving, so there. we know it. We did it. We're inside. Huh. Yes. And it is incredible. Is that a portal? No, look at it. Hear me okay, out. Okay, guys. Structure that looks like a portal gotta frame. Be in here. How do you know? Terra Mindel? I feel like this is important, but I don't really know why. I feel like it's a portal frame, Jesse. Too bad you didn't bring the enchanted flint and steel, or unless Ivor actually still has that. Oh, let's talk to Petra. That's probably an option. I just noticed that she's down here. It's not an option. Surprisingly, damn. Anything up here? Got some terracotta. Jack, Nerm. You guys doing okay? I don't like any of it, Jesse. It's giving me a bad feeling. And my instincts are better than nine ocelots tied together. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Just like old times, buddy. These sea lanterns look weird. Man, these are bright. Love it. Runes? Hey, Nerm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh, huh? <sighs> Nermy says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. This is getting weird. More runes? Nerm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Hmm. The admin saw there were no more heroes worthy of his challenges. So he left this world until the next great heroes emerged. Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never... Never existed. Maybe the admin does exist. I think that's going to probably be the main villain, is the admin. Probably. There's two of them. This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nerm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. What's the difference in them? What? Fascinating. Yeah. But what does it all mean? Still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nerm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. Mm -hmm. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. Which one do we want to take? Let's go with the... The warrior path. That sounds like what we need. Warrior well, path, it's yeah. it's supposed to be a gift, right? Now what? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. I can't believe we got it. 
Well, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? Oh, no, they just blew the door off the I'm hinges. I'm guessing no. <gasps> there are so many of them. Stay behind me, Nerm! Oh. Did I just belly flop down to the next floor? I'm doing it! Okay, I, I had to hit that a good three times before it registered. Worst statues ever! Oh, geez, big hand, very big! I think now might be a good time for that structure block! I don't know how it works! Try everything then! Now! Please! Uh... Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work! The big guys are coming in! Hello, Jesse. Talks? Here they come! Yeah, that's a little creepy. The giant statue Come on. talking. I'll show you what we did to our enemies in Purgatka. Still behind me, Nerm? Mm -hmm. Get ready, you guys. I think you're all cool because of how tall you are, huh? Proud of me. Oh, this is a problem. I gotta remember to dodge. How do I dodge the stomp? It's gonna kill me. Oh, I took so much damage. Just to figure... Alright, so we gotta get behind it, it looks like. Ah, in your face! Hoo-hoo! Met metaphorically. Why, hello. Uh, hi. Die now. Whoa, too close. Stand still. Trying to well smash us. Dodged. My sword! I can uh, I can almost reach it! It's so close! Don't worry! I've got it! Mostly! Oh, it's gonna make me choose. I think Petra should be fine. Gotcha, Jack. Now come on, let's get out of here. Oh, unless she loses her sword. Wow. Thank you. Really. Look at that. You said thank you. Hmm. You'll never prove it. No! This butter! All that time enchanting down the drain. Why is one of my arms turned no around? Oh, there we go, it fixed it. You are resilient. Though sadly, still mortal. You touched my hair that time. <laughs> Didn't work that time either. <laughs> oh dear. Is there a leak in here? <laughs> He's 
flooding the place. I've placed every block you've ever stood on, and I promise I will place the blocks that cover your grave. The waterfalls! My arms turned around again. Go, go! I'm right behind you guys! Are you really? What a dangerous world, Jesse. Swim! You are so tiny, and there is so much distance to cover. Also, you know, me. <laughs> Dive! Oh! Ah! Mache, come on. You got this. Oh, he nabbed me. Did I not do it? I thought I was mashing A. Guess I didn't do it fast enough. I placed every block you've ever stood on. And I promise I will place the blocks that cover your grave. The waterfalls! Go, go! I'm right behind you guys! Are you really? What a dangerous world, Jesse. You are so tiny, and there Not is this. so much distance to cover. Women. Also, you know, me. <laughs> Dive! Ah! Come on, I'm mashing A already. Come on! Alright, we got it, we got it. Ha! How's that feel, you dumb pile of rocks? Jesse! So now we're going back to my town. Go close up the heck mouth. There, that's where the structure block goes. Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. Keep on going. Really hope this works. I do too. Is everyone okay? Looks all clear. I think so. That's right, folks. In a stunning victory, Jesse has taken down the heck mount. You said it, Bob, and the crowd goes I don't wild. want it. I think I chose the, Jesse, uh, the rude Jesse, one. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Jesse. Should have hit A. Oh, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh, yeah, I guess I did. You think that's really the end of it? Ah, huh. certainly looks that way to me. And come I on, hope it let's is. go home, you guys. Back at Beacon Town. Oh, <laughs> this is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone, happy founding day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back. Thank goodness. This has, ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved or help with building. Or wrangling animals. Might have been a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. The place looks great. 
Yeah? Yeah, you did a great job, Radar. Wow, thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? It's like I'm always telling people, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. right? I think they really liked it. Yeah, they did. Congratulations. I haven't seen a celebration like this since that crazy summer I spent with the party people of Kayak Tam. Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. Uh, sorry, I still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. Oh, yeah, that was an excellent sword. Could have used a grander name, though. No offense. Petra, I'm really sorry about your sword. I know how important it was to you. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? Yeah, wait up. I still have the gloves stuck on my hand, though. Still don't know what I'm gonna do about you, though. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying! Yeah, what was it? Oh, it's gonna be the giant and he's gonna be peering over the wall. Oh no. It's the admin. Jesse. You thought you could just run away from the admin? I'm pretty sure that's the end of the episode. But that is awesome. Mm. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see the choices. What is this? Is it just continuing the episode? Or is this like starting episode two? I might have accidentally started episode two. No, I'm I'm sorry. That was completely uh like an end credit thing, and I accidentally paused on it because I thought it might have accidentally started the second episode, and I'm sorry. I did that as well at the end of uh episode eight there in the previous game. But yeah, no, this is what it usually does. It was just Lucas suiting up and getting ready for the fight. And he said, it's oh time to write my next book. So yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have uh, paused. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And as well, I do offer YouTube channel memberships. It's $1.99 and nothing really special from it. All you get is a special Discord role. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, that is available. But this has been Gunshy Moray signing off. Peace. <laughs>